judgment. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. Psalm 1, 5 The Lord abides forever. He has established his throne for judgment. Psalm 9, 7 Judgment will again be righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Psalm 94, 15 Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no man living is righteous. Psalm 143, 2 Rejoice, young man, during your childhood, and let your heart be pleasant during the days of young manhood, and follow the impulses of your heart and the desires of your eyes. Yet know that God will bring you to judgment for all these things. Ecclesiastes 11, 9 A throne will even be established in loving kindness, and a judge will sit on it in faithfulness in the tent of David. Moreover, he will seek justice and be prompt in righteousness. Isaiah 16, 5 I tell you that every careless word that people speak, they shall give an accounting for it in the day of judgment. Matthew 12, 36 not even the Father judges anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son. John 5:22. You have no excuse, every one of you who passes judgment. For in that which you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge, practice the same things. And we know that the judgment of God rightly falls upon those who practice such things. But do you suppose this, O oh man, when you pass judgment on those who practice such things, and do the same yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Romans 2, 1-3 For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body, according to what he has done, whether good or bad. 2 Corinthians 5, 10 You why do you judge your brother? Or you again, why do you regard your brother with contempt? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. Romans 14, 10 Let us not judge one another anymore, but rather determine this, not to put an obstacle or a stumbling block in a brother's way. Romans 14, 13 this is a plain indication of God's righteous judgment, so that you will be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which indeed you are suffering. 2 Thessalonians 1, 5 The sins of some men are quite evident, going before them to judgment. For others, their sins follow after. 1 Timothy 5, 24 Inasmuch as it is appointed for men to die once, and after this comes judgment. Hebrews 9, 27 Judgment will be merciless to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. James 2, 13 Do not speak against one another, brethren. He who speaks against a brother or judges his brother speaks against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge of it. James 4, 11. It is time for judgment to begin with the household of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? 1 Peter 4, 17. You therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, be on your guard so that you are not carried away by the error of unprincipled men and fall from your own steadfastness. 2 Peter 3, 7 By this, love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so also are we in this world. 1 John 4, 17 I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books, according to their deeds. Revelation 20, 12.